everyone, and welcome back to Swift Guitar Lessons for another lead guitar tutorial. In today's session, I'm going to be sharing with you how to play the three common types of minor scales. That's the melodic minor, the harmonic minor, and the natural minor. I'm going to show you how to play each of them individually in the key of A minor, and also provide you with a chord progression that each of these scales could be used to play over. I got all the tabs available for you at patreon.com slash swiftlessons to help you with your study. Now, let's get started. Okay, getting started with section one of this lesson, the melodic minor scale. Now the melodic minor is essentially the major scale with the third note, flat it down one half step. All right, when you include that C in the scale, you end up with this very peculiar series of notes. Okay, you can also find that C note on the eighth fret. So this is basically the least commonly used type of minor scale, because it doesn't contain the chord harmonies and melodies that are typically used in modern pop music. But it does have a couple of useful uh, applications. Uh, firstly, to jam over a minor one to a major four. Okay, That's like a very, very basic chord progression that I might use this scale for, because the notes that are inside of this chord D major are also going to be found inside of the scale, okay? So let's learn how to play this uh, scale off of the low E string in its common position, okay? It's gonna sound like this. Okay, so that was five, seven, eight on the low E. 5, 7 on the A, 4, 6, 7 on the D, 4, 5, 7 on the G, 5, 7 on the B, 4, 5, 7, 8 on the high E string. It's very good to know where your roots are on that E string, D string, and high E string there. Okay? So the notes that we had in the scale, we want to memorize those. A, B, C, D, E, F sharp, G sharp, and A. And I also want you to memorize uh, what intervals are involved in the scale. The one, two, flat third, four, five, six, seven, or you can also call that major seven, and the octave, okay, or the tonic. Okay, so memorize that scale, play it over and over again, memorize the notes that are inside the scale, and also memorize the intervals and the pattern of whole steps and half steps that create it. Uh, once you've gotten it down, we can try to tackle this lick that I have for you. I'm gonna give you a lick for each of these different scales that I'm gonna show you. Okay, so the lick I'm gonna show you is very good for tying together that minor one chord to that major four chord. A very common change for songs that are based off of this melodic minor scale. The lick is going to sound like this. One, two, three, four. Real slow now. Okay. So basically what we need to do, take our pointer finger, put it on the fifth fret of the B string, and take our pinky and reach out to that eighth fret high E string, the minor third. Then we're sliding from four to five. The pinky goes back to eight. And that's a good place to stop and practice. And that's a nice thing to repeat too, for a kind of jazzy sound. All right, a lick in itself. Next, we're gonna slide from six up to seven on the same string, high E. Down to five, so far you have. All right, that's a nice resolve, but we're gonna take it further. Outline in the D major chord, we have the seventh fret of the B string and G string. Then down to the minor third again, we're on the fifth fret of the G string. 
All right, finding the last little bit is a nice resolve back to A. Fourth fret, hammer it up to fifth fret, and pull them back off, and then pinky extending out to the root, uh, the seventh fret of the D string. Okay, so putting all that together now real slow, Just like that. Okay, so practice that lick nice and slow. See if you can change it up, come up with something on your own. And then I want you to see if you can apply it. I'm gonna play a little bit of rhythm for you and have you jam along with me before we move on to our next scale. Melodic minor rhythm. A one, two, three, four. Okay, now moving into section two of our lesson, the harmonic minor scale. Now this is uh, a scale that can literally change your playing overnight. It's got a ton of that Spanish and gypsy flavor, and it's one of the easiest minor scales to utilize and integrate with the stuff that you already know, like your blues scale. And it sounds great over my suggested chord progression. The minor one, A minor, to the minor four chord, D minor, to the dominant or major five chord. E7. Okay. Something along those lines. All right, and I will be playing more rhythm for you so you can jam along. Okay, the scale is very exotic. It's going to sound like this. Okay, kind of get into two and a half octaves there. Okay, so. The first note, the one, fifth fret of the E string, seven, eight. All right, that's your one, your two, and your flat third. Then we're gonna have five, seven, eight on the A string. It's your four, your five, and your flat at six. Then we're going right to the major seven, sixth fret of the D string, to the octave, seventh fret, D string to find your tonic. Okay, so. Five, seven, eight, five, seven, eight, six, seven. Practice that over and over again, get that first octave down. Forward, and backward, ascending and descending. All right, climb back up. Now we're getting into the next octave. We're gonna have four, five, seven on the G string. Okay, that's that two, that flat third, and that four. Okay, then we're gonna have the fifth fret of the B string to the sixth fret of the B string. Okay, that's the five and that flat at six again. Then on the high E string, four, five, seven, eight. All right, we really need to get those interval names down, so that's gonna be the major seven to the tonic, the two, and the minor third again. All right, putting both octaves together now. All right, practice that. Get the names of the notes down. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, sharp. Okay, it's a G sharp to A. And then just repeats itself again. A, B, C, D, E, F, G sharp, A, and then starts to repeat again with B and C. It's not enough just to get the, the scale down and memorize the position. You really want, if you want to be a great guitar player, you really got to memorize the names of the notes and the interval names, okay? Okay, so there's a lot that you can do with this harmonic minor scale. It's actually crazy how much you can do with it. Uh, and I tend to drift towards the gypsy jazz, kind of Django Reinhardt inspired licks. And uh, so this lick is inspired by that style. It's gonna sound like this. One, two, three, four. Now real slow. Okay. So on the high E string, basically we're just playing. All 
Okay. I'm playing the fifth fret of the high E string, seventh fret, pull off, slide down a half step to four. Back up to five, seven, and then to the fourth fret. Get that down first. All right, if that's tough for you, try just picking every single note and add in the uh, pull-offs and the slides later. Like that. All right, then we're going to the sixth fret of the B string, fifth fret, seventh fret G, just walking down the scale to the fifth fret, to the fourth fret. All right, so far we have. Then we can end it with the major seven to the tonic. All right, that was the sixth fret D string to the seventh fret. All right, your full lick now. Then try to get your pull offs, your slide, Back to the 5th fret, 7th fret, 4th fret, 6th fret, 5th fret, 7th fret, 5th fret, 4th fret, 6th fret D string, and resolve right back to A minor. Okay, great work everybody. You have that melodic minor scale down. You've learned a little bit about the theory, memorizing the notes for both that melodic minor and the harmonic minor scale. And you have an amazing gypsy jazz guitar lick to start practicing. Once you have all that down, then you can start jamming uh, over our A minor, D minor, and E7 backing track, which is coming up next. Harmonic minor rhythm. One, two, three. All right, great work everybody. You're expanding your knowledge of lead guitar. And essentially what you're doing is you're learning how to respond to different given musical scenarios, specifically different chord changes. Now we're on to section three, our final section of this lesson, the natural minor scale. Now the natural minor scale is the definitive minor scale, and it's the origin of the majority of minor pop tunes. Uh, and it's important to know that our common pentatonic scale, is actually just a simplified version of this natural minor scale. Okay, so let's get the scale down, then I'll talk to you about the intervals, uh, the pattern of whole steps and half steps, and the notes that are in the scale. So, on the low E string, we're gonna have five, seven, eight. On the A string, same exact thing, five, seven, eight. And on the D string, five, seven to complete the octave. This one is very easy to play, and it sounds great to almost anybody. The natural minor scale and its first octave. All right, then on the G string, we're gonna play four, five, seven. On the B string, five, six, eight. And on that high E string, five, seven, eight. You put all that together, we have five, seven, eight, five, seven, eight, five, seven, four, five, seven, five, six, eight, five, seven, eight. Descending down. There it is, the natural minor scale. Now for some of you more advanced players out there who have studied my uh, major scale lesson videos, you might notice that this is the exact same scale as the major scale off of the C note. So the A natural minor 
is the same exact scale as C major. All right, so it's the relative minor scale. It's very, very important. A lot of you that might be over your head a little bit right now, and that's okay. Okay, so practice that scale over and over, and then let's talk about that, uh, the intervals and the names of the notes. Okay, so on that E string, we had the one, the two, the flat third. Okay. Then on the A string, we had the four, the five, and the flat at six. Then on the uh, D string, we have the flat at seven, and the octave, the tonic. So that's the, uh, that's the kind of the anatomy of the scale. It has all of those three notes flatted. So the melodic minor only had the flat at third. The harmonic minor had the flat at third and the flat at six. But the natural minor has all three flatted. The flat at third, the flat six, and the flat seven. And the notes that we end up with are A, B, C, D, E, F, G, and then we're back to A. So it's all naturals. So as I mentioned before, the majority of pop tunes that are in minor keys are built from this scale. And the chord progression that I'm sharing with you today sounds great with this scale is A minor, a minor one chord. Then we're gonna play C major. All right, that's going to be a major three chord. Then we'll have D minor, that's the minor four chord, and E minor, a minor five. So A minor, C major, D minor, and E minor. Okay, and over that common chord progression, we're gonna play this very, very nice kind of Spanish style lick. Sounds like this. Uh, this is one of my favorite licks to play. And it's very, very easy to get down. We're gonna play five, seven on the D string. 5-7 on the G, then on the B string we're gonna play 5-6, and that 6 is nice and short. Then we're gonna play this very, very nice little lick here. We're playing um, 5, hammering up to 6, pulling back off to 5, and then going to the 7th fret of the G string, and then stopping right there on the 5th scale degree. So this would sound great over top of the E uh, chord. And that is the fifth fret of the B string. All right, put all that together, we have real slow. And make sure you're really putting your vibrato to work on that last note. Just like that. Okay, great work everybody. You've got the three common types of minor scales down. You've got some new licks under your belt and also some chord progressions, fantastic. Now let's jam along with my chord progression for the natural minor scale. Natural minor rhythm. A one, two, three, four. Alright everyone, thanks so much for checking out this lesson on minor scales, I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks so much to my supporters at patreon.com slash swiftlessons for making these lessons possible. I got many more videos coming up, so keep checking back, please subscribe, please share. This is Rob at Swift Guitar Lessons in Philadelphia, saying happy picking.